Good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me. This is Daniel Dragon. Um, I have been working with Gordon Marketing for over a year now uh, on the lead program, and um, it's been a great success. Uh, we had constant changes and updates to make sure we improved the, pro the program in the last year, um, and we just had recent changes as well that uh, we want to make you aware of. And uh, I have Bob Lockard with Gordon Marketing um, that will uh, take us through the uh, program and uh, some of the final uh, and latest changes on the program. Bob, can you hear me? I can. All right. Okay, yeah. so um, yeah, we can go ahead from here, please. All right, well, hey, welcome, everyone. <clears throat> I want to tell you thank you for taking time to uh, get on the call this morning. I know it's always uh, hard to take time out of our day, especially when we're salespeople and make our living talking to people selling and not being on webinars. I won't take a lot of time. I told Daniel I thought it would be good if we just got on a call uh, to uh, to clear up some things and maybe just take some open questions as well so that we can change, uh, go over some issues. So with that, let me just talk about uh, briefly just a, a few changes that we've been working on implementing and, and how that works. Uh, I wanted to educate you on the actual TV lead program, mm -hmm. some of the metrics, how it works, because I think there's some confusion out there on understanding how working TV commercials work. First and foremost, if an agent requests leads from a particular state, let's say an agent wants leads in Arkansas, we do not place individual ads in individual states. Now, we have the ability to do so, but that is not what we do, uh, typically what we do. When an ad is placed, it's placed on a national basis. That's why you could be in Wisconsin, in Alaska, in Hawaii. I was actually just in the Dominican Republic last week, and while in the Dominican Republic, saw our ad running on the TV network there. Now, how could that be possible? That's because when the ad is placed, it's placed on a national network, and that national network goes out on all cable networks, dish networks, TV networks that operate on that channel, which explains why you could actually see it run in the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, Alaska, or wherever. Now, and that's so that we can maximize our opportunities for selling. It's so that we can uh, lower the cost as, as much as possible. <clears throat> we currently co-opt the cost of the lead uh, a little more than 60%. Uh, all in all, if you were to do this on your own, it costs several, it would cost you $100,000 or better just to produce the ad, place the ad, keep the ad running. So we co opt tremendously on the cost of the lead. We've also, as you know, provide free leads based upon your PPL. So for an agent to maximize their effort, increase their ability to get more leads, more sales, it's imperative that you operate in more than one state. It's very difficult for me to provide leads to agents in the state of Florida or new agents. Now, Daniel's been with us for quite a while since the onset, so we've left his agents in the program. I currently no longer permit new agents to come on board in the state of Florida because we have just too many agents in Florida requesting leads. It's not that difficult to get a non-resident license in other states. States like California, North Carolina, Texas, New York, Ohio, Michigan, uh, Alabama, Louisiana, Georgia. Those are areas that produce a high volume of leads. Now, there's two ways to do that. <clears throat> get appointed for, get your license first, get appointed, and then request calls from those states. Or do like many of our top selling agents that write eight and nine apps a week. Just go ahead and agree to take the leads from any state in the country. When the lead call comes in, deal with the lead call. And if you have a highly interested individual, mail an application for their state to them. And while that application is going out to them, go online to either NIPR, Nipper, 
or SIRCON, S-I-R-C-O-N, and do your online uh, application for a non-res license. In the major overwhelming majority of the states, the license is not that expensive, and it'll turn around in just a couple of days. Uh, when you do that, you've invested in an application. Uh, the application is going to come back. You'll have a license. You're already appointed with the rep. It's legal. You're licensed in your state. Uh, and then you would sign and date the app when it comes back. may not be the most proficient way, but we have agents doing it all over the country, and it works, and it will increase your sales. The point is you need to be in five, six, seven states if you really want to be proficient. Take a lot of calls, monitor a lot of calls, and make a lot of uh, and write a lot of business. The other one is concentrate on uh, the following. Uh, yesterday I was monitoring phone activity. We had about 31 lead calls that came in that no agent took the call. Their phone rang, and we know that because we can see every phone that's been called every day throughout the country. If you're going to order leads, you need to be able to take the call. Uh, one of the things that's nice about being on the phone, selling over the phone, is I don't have to stop my day. I can take a call on my cell phone in my car, out in the park with my kids. I can be doing whatever it is I do, but answer the call. As soon as it comes in, the typical consumer will, will drop the call after 17 seconds if no one has picked up. So you have 17 seconds of dial time before they, so about eight or nine rings before they drop, and then they'll call back and get with another agent. Be prepared to take the call. Learn how to present over the phone. You should have your worksheet down in your mind, take them through, and then how to three-way call the carrier and complete the sale over the phone. It's unfortunate that we lose about fifteen to $1,600 a week in lead calls to agents that don't answer the phone, and then some of those same agents call and complain that they didn't get enough calls. So please, first and foremost, be ready for the calls. Be prepared to take the calls. Be willing to take the overflow calls that come in that you miss. These are great calls. Our own captive sales force that we have here writes all of their business off of missed calls. We have agents that claim they don't want the calls, it's no good, yet our sales force that writes more business than our broker operation only works off of missed phone calls, calling them back, not even getting live calls. They fall back, call back to people that's missed a call over a day, and we make many, many, many sales. So, Work your lead. Develop the lead. Just because you didn't uh, close it today, don't throw it away. Think of it like a direct mail lead. That individual dialed the phone. They had an intent. They had a, an interest, but something made them hang up or put you off when you spoke to them. Call them back in two weeks. Call them back in four weeks. Call them back until they tell you never call back again. Uh, you have the number. It's in your portal. You've been able to monitor it, and it will help you generate more business. Now, on changes, um, we, uh, as you know, for uh, over a year, we used a commercial uh, entitled Angel Care Services. We elected to change and go to a new uh, ad agency. The, uh, the lead we now use is Open Care Services. So when you hear the whisper message, when it comes in, it's Open Care. It sounds like Angel Care. Just get used to changing the word angel to open, but I can guarantee if you say angel care, open care, the client on the other end really doesn't probably pick up on the difference. But it is open care services, and uh, the cost of the leads are $45. There have been some changes, and why did we go with this carrier? Uh, one, we tested the uh, ad agency for about two months. The quality of the lead is much higher. We were getting way too many calls with the other ad agency that came in after 8 o'clock at night uh, through the nighttime. Uh, uh, very few of our calls now, so uh, the new ad agency is targeting more of the primetime market, mm -hmm. our local market, generating a higher quality lead. The commercial is a better commercial. We're getting better calls. And so uh, there is a higher quality. With that, it increased our cost on our end. So. Uh, our net operating cost uh, increased, our, our margin decreased, so um, our profit line decreased, that is. And so, but that's okay. We wanted to produce a higher quality lead for the agent. 
the um, buffer time, and that is the amount of time before you're charged from the lead is no longer with the ad agency of 30 to 45 seconds. The old ad agency didn't produce a very quality lead. This company does. Therefore, they reduced that call time to 15 seconds, which means roughly eight to nine seconds on a call were being billed uh, because the call is answered by our system. It then connects to the agent. So the call has been answered. Now, with that, it, it has not affected. Our, our quality salespeople are still selling much more business, but that's why it's imperative, it's important that you get on the call and be prepared to take the call. Remember, it's an inbound call from somebody that dialed an 800 number on the TV commercial. They are interested, but their anxiety is, is very, very, very high. And so some people get scared, even though they dialed the number. During that call, they hang up. We get a lot of agents calling, um, requesting a refund because someone hung up. There are no refunds. The ad agency does not refund us. But just because they hung up doesn't mean it's a lead, not a lead. Again, think of direct mail leads. If you've ever paid for direct mail leads, once you pay that company to mail out a lead drop, when the cards come back in, you don't get a refund if the person changed their mind. So uh, TV calls, you will have bad calls, you will have bogus calls, you'll have drunks and bars call. We still get charged for that call. That's just the nature of our business. However, overall, our ROI, our quality of the call, and the basis is much, much, much higher. Our average agent that works the leads consistently is closing 30 to 40 percent. Our above average agents are closing seven to eight out of 10. Again, just because you take the call today, just because you answer the call today, they hang up, they change their mind, that doesn't mean it's a bad lead. Put it in your tickler file, put it on your calendar that's on the lead portal, set it for a call back in two weeks. Call them back. Hi, this is Bob Blocker with Open Care Services. You called our commercial a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, we were busy, you were busy, and we weren't able to take care of you. I'm just following up today to see if there's anything we can do to help you take care of your burial plan. Call them again. Call them again until they tell you no. And so please just remember, we have too many agents that are taking the call one time, didn't sell it, and they quit. Those are great, great leads to follow up on. You will increase your production. You will increase your commissions tremendously if you just remember that. Now, we're coming up on a holiday weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we will not be running the commercial. The commercial will be out there, but we will not be paying for calls. And the obvious reason. We have um, holidays taking place, people will be traveling, agents will be traveling, and I don't want to have an extreme uh, dollar cost for leads that go out with no agents willing to take calls, and then you get consumers that really don't want to do business because it's a holiday weekend. But they will start back up again uh, following on, on next Tuesday. So from time to time, we do have to shut the system down in order to do maintenance. We have a lot of moving mechanical IT parts that deliver the leads. And from time to time, it's just very, very, very important that we make updates. Now, one of the other things that's important is, as I've, as I've stated before, is it's important that you keep your portal up to date. I'm going to bring a copy of the portal up on the screen now, and, and I'm going to demonstrate something for us. Uh, we get a lot of agents calling, uh, wanting to add money to their account, and we're glad if you do not have money in your account, if you allow your account to run low, then you're going to miss leads. But you do not need us to add money to your account. So if you notice on the screen now, this is what your account looks like when you log onto your screen. You should check every day with your account balance, and I'm sure you do. As you can see, this account is in the negative, and this is because this is one of our full-time agents that works for us, and we pay for the leads. I monitor the lead money to determine how much money we have given that agent uh, leads-wise. For you, when you want to add money to your account, it's really quite simple. Just simply click on the Add Funds button, 
then click on authorize.net. And as you can see on the screen, the information would fill out. Pick the dollar amount you want to add. If there's not a dollar amount on there that you would like, then just let us know. We'll add it. Fill out your credit card information and submit it. As soon as you submit the button, the funds are added to your account. It's really that simple. It's very important that you're consistent. Have a system. We have too many agents that allow their account to go down and then try to catch up. It doesn't work that way. Uh, we calculate premium every Monday and Tuesday to add back to your account. Now, we still have a lot of agents that are failing, maybe they don't understand, to fill out a weekly production report. So right now I'm at the Gordon Marketing website, as you can see from your screen. And the way that is done is quite simple. You would come to the life, go to final expense, and on this you will see that there is a production report. And all you need to do is come to that production report each week, Monday at the latest, fill out your report and submit it. Now we track your business. However, we can miss it. We can make mistakes. You might run a carrier and write a piece of business that's not on the final expense lead program that I will consider. But I can't consider it if you don't submit it within your report. So please remember to go to the report and run this every Monday by noon. Now, I'm going to go back through one more time for your sake, because I know that was fast, to show you how to get there. So when you log on to gordonmarketing.com, you will click on the Enter Agent site. When you get to the Enter Agent site, you put your mouse on the Life tab, go down and hit the Final Expense Life tab. And as you can see, on the Final Expense Life tab, tab there is a production report. You will simply click the production report, and you're there. Fill that out every Monday by noon, submit it so that we have a copy of your production. We don't want you to have to keep paying for leads, but we do need you to submit the report so that we can make sure you get your production credit. So again, I just wanted to touch base with everybody to let you know, I know we've gone through some ups and downs. Uh, it happens. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts on running television commercials. Sometimes the uh, cable networks, when you get around... Uh, Basketball playoffs, races, things like that. There's not much advertising space available, so lead flow will be slow. When there's non-major events taking place, there's more ad space available and lead force, leads will be high. In order to keep your lead flow going all the time, you need multiple states. And if you're not licensed again today, don't let that stop you. Just send us a note that you will agree to take leads from a number of states or all states uh, so that we can generate those for you. And the way you want to do that is simply this way. When you are on your web page again, your portal, remember, hit the Contact Us button. Please do not send us individual emails or, or phone mails. We might miss them. Uh, we get hundreds and hundreds of emails a day. These emails go through our admin site. Uh, that's operated by administrators on our website, and we will be able to get those. So again, I just want to I just want to highly encourage you take leads from multiple states. Go out, and if you've never done it before, if you, if you need to know how to get a um, uh, a non-resident license, I'll show you now. It's real simple. When you go out to the websites, there's multiple sites that you can use. Um, Go, go to, uh, I'm on one of those sites now, as you can see, it's NIPR, which is the National Insurance Producer Registry, and as you can see, you just simply apply for a license, and you would get a non-res license. It's very, very simple. Fill it out, submit it, you're licensed. Uh, at that time, you just want to contact your marketer here at Gordon, let them know you have a new state, so that the carrier can turn that state on for you. It doesn't take but a few moments of your time. Highly encourage you, if you want to generate a lot of income, like a lot of our top producing agents, you need leads from more than one state. It's just that simple. Uh, we'll continue to support you, but if you're only asking for leads from uh, one state, it could be very, very, very difficult for us to support you on that basis. We can't make people dial the 800 number on the TV screen. It's just that simple.
So again, major changes, simple. We run in a new TV commercial. It's a better commercial. It has a higher quality uh, commercial. It's generating a higher quality lead. Our closing ratio has increased dramatically from our agents that use it all the time. Keep your lead portal full. Communicate through the portal with us. Don't send us individual emails. And if you're going to be gone for a, a significant amount of time, let us know. Um, get appointed in multiple states. Be willing to take leads from multiple states, even if you're not appointed there now, and then get appointed if you have somebody that truly wants to buy a piece of business. Uh, leads will, again, uh, this Friday, probably around 4 o'clock, will stop running and won't come back up till Tuesday because of the holidays. So, Daniel, with that, I have nothing else, but I'm willing to take uh, calls or uh, questions from agents. Okay. Um, there is an option to unmute yourself by pressing star, star on your key, uh, on your phone. So, uh, each, each person can unmute their own self by pressing star, star. So, that way, I don't have to unmute everyone Coming at down. once. And go ahead. Hi, um, this is Angela. How are you all? Hey, Angela. Good morning. Good morning. Question. Um, did I hear correct? Um, I missed some of the states that he said were very popular. I know I heard Georgia, Louisiana, and I didn't hear the other ones he spoke about. Oh. Hold on. Uh, Bob? Looks like Bob has been muted, unfortunately. Give me just a second. Let me try to get him back. You hear me, Daniel? Okay, yes, please. Let's uh, yeah. let's cover the states that are the most popular, yeah. where we get most of the leads. You have California, Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Missouri, uh, Georgia, New York, Ohio, uh, and Colorado. There are some others, but those are the ones that generate the highest volume of leads. Okay, great. And also, did, um, as far as, I know you said there's no refunds whatsoever, so is there no time at which there could be a credit or there's no circumstance that would allow for a credit? You know, every now and then I can get one back when we can prove it's what they call a bot call. You know, there's these idiots out there that have computers that answer phones and try to mess up your commercial. Uh, but really, they charge me for anything that connects. And and I do not get refunded. It's just the nature okay. of how they do it. It doesn't happen often, you know, a couple calls a month. But really, I just we just do not get refunded. Okay, and and we cannot. If you think you that? have a legit? If an agent thinks they have a really legitimate, not hey, this person hung up because if they hung up, call them back. Uh, they may have gotten tired of being on hold, uh, what have you. But if they, you know, if a little kid calls. A bait, somebody accidentally dialed the number and they really weren't calling in. As long as we can listen to the recording, send it back and request it, we stand a chance. Uh, it takes about 14 days to get a response back. If we get refunded, we'll refund the agent. It's that simple. Okay. And as far as turning off your system, you don't want to accept calls. If I, I remember before you said you really don't do that unless you want to be away for, I think, three days or... Is there a way to right. turn it off? If you want to be away for three days or more, we'll shut your system down. Other than that, we really don't have a way of shutting it down. It's too it's too time intensive to do so. So you just have to be willing to accept. So if they call during that time that you're not around and you can't turn off the service, you're going to still be billed. You're still going to get the Well, okay. not necessarily. If the call misses you, it's going to go to another agent. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh-huh. If there are any other questions, please press star star on your phone to unmute yourself.
Hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Good. Hey, this is Vernon. Yeah. Uh, you doing all right today? Great. I Thanks had a for, question. Uh, Thanks for calling in. Go ahead. Um, how frequent does the calls come in? Is it? Uh, I think I, I I remember someone saying, is it like twenty four hours? Like for example, if I wanted to work, you know, eleven, twelve o'clock in the morning, is that you know is that possible? Calls come in at 24-7 around the clock. We really have no way of knowing when a call will come in because it's just based upon if someone dials the commercial when it happens. Uh, so if you're there working at that time, yeah, you could possibly get calls, but there's no way of really making sure you get calls at that time unless, again, as I stated before, if you operate and take calls from multiple states, then your chances are that you can get calls better at that time. Okay, so the call does come in. I mean, the commercial does air um, 24 hours a day? Yes, absolutely. All right, thank you. Good morning, this is Dennis in Central Florida. I've got a question on setting up the answering uh, or the voicemail system. Is, is that still something that we should do? Because I don't think it rings enough for it to, to get to the voicemail. The only way you can make sure that a call goes to your voicemail is shut your phone off so that it automatically goes to voicemail. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the yeah. only way to make it happen for sure. I actually got a, a cell phone, separate cell phone, cell phone number uh, strictly for those calls. And uh, okay. I, was trying to, I was trying to get it to where it would go to voicemail after a certain ring, and they said they couldn't do that, that the... Um, the government didn't allow them. It had to be at a certain 30-second or something like that, and obviously it's not going to ever get to voicemail. But but I see what you said. If, you have to, if I turn the phone off, then yes, it would go to direct. So that makes sense. Okay, solve problem solved. Okay, thank you. And like we discussed, please make sure the voicemail is set up to say, thank you for calling Open Care. Please leave a message, and an agent will get in touch with you shortly. So use the brand Open Care to be consistent with the uh, ads that they see on TV. Any more questions? If there are no more questions, um, or you have questions that you didn't think of right now, uh, you can email us or call us later. I'm going to give you my direct number, Daniel Dragon. 239-466-4466, or you can reply to the email that I sent you as an uh, invitation to this webinar. Um, Bob, I guess there are no more questions at this time. All right. So thank you again so much for, uh, for going through the uh, changes and updates on uh, the lead portal, um, on the lead program itself. So... Um, all right. I appreciate it, Daniel, and everybody have a great holiday weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.